Welcome to Morning Prayer. Today is Friday, October 21st. I am Pastor Keith Free, one of the pastors at St. John's Lutheran in McGuanago, Wisconsin. We begin with Service of Word and Prayer on page 266 in our hymnal. I rejoiced with those who said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Thanks be to God, he gives us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray. <clears throat> Blessed Lord, you have given us your holy scriptures for our learning. May we so hear them, read, learn, and take them to heart, that being strengthened and comforted by your holy word, we may cling to the blessed hope of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Through this week, we've been looking at favorite passages in Scripture. Certainly, I, I've shared a couple before we looked at the Scripture, uh, favorite Scripture. Um, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. Certainly is a favorite. And then in John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32, to the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, If you continue in my word, then you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Some favorite passages. On this day, we look at a passage from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, that also happens to be the end of the chapter. He said, Therefore, stand firm, let nothing move you, always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, for you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Some realize that chapter 2 of Luke is the Christmas chapter, and some may recognize that 1 Corinthians chapter 15 is the Easter chapter. Beginning with verse 1, the Apostle Paul writes extensively about Easter. And he goes from verse 1 through verse 57, talking about uh, Easter, the blessings, the, the reality of Easter, just a, a variety of things which he talks about. Certainly, if you're having a bad day and you want to pick yourself up, perhaps, and go to the 15th chapter, of 1 Corinthians, maybe the first 11 verses, and then if it's a little too lengthy for you, maybe go to verse 50 and verses 50 through 58. But it, it's a beautiful blessing, and as we come to that last verse, with the victory of Christ over death in mind, with sin being paid for fully by Christ, with everything being done for us by our Lord Almighty, then we come and we hear this encouragement that we can stand firm, that nothing needs to move us. We can give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord. I think that's important for us as Christians as we live in this sin-ravaged world. We face our own temptations, and we realize there are times when we fall and fail to do the Lord's word. We fail to do his will. We fail to do his work. Yet we can give thanks that because Christ lives, we know the payment Christ made on the cross is full and is complete. And then, with the Lord's help, we can give ourselves fully to him. That's important because as we serve our Lord, as we look to do his will, we don't always see instant results. Parents, Moms raise their children, and they spend a lot of time each day working with them and doing what needs to be done. 
and the little ones go off to sleep. And the next day you start all over, and some of those things you were teaching them, some of the manners to be polite, perhaps they're right back at it, trying to uh, get what they want by screaming and hollering versus saying please and then offering a thank you. Or as we look at doing the Lord's will and we look to take his word to other people in our association, there's perhaps that individual who doesn't have a church home and does not seem to have faith in Christ Jesus and we slowly but surely continue to bring them the word, continue to bring them encouragements, continue to invite them to a worship service, and nothing. And we we wonder, how long? How long do we continue? Or think of prayer. We're encouraged to pray and to pray frequently and to pray for many, many situations and as we make our prayers and as we bring our request to the Lord, offer him our, partition, our petitions, um, and we go, well, nothing has changed. It's still the way it was. Our personal ailments, tribulations, hardships, still there the next day, the next week, the next month. And then the Lord comes to us with his encouraging word, and he says, Remember Jesus' resurrection. Remember he lives. Remember he's taken care of our greatest need, our sin. Remember he has conquered death. Remember he's preparing that place for you and me in heaven. And he says, continue to give yourselves fully to me, knowing what I have done for you. So yes, stand firm on God's word. Hear what his word has to say. Rejoice in what has been done for you. And then day in and day out, patiently and persistently, do what the Lord says. Prayerfully ask him to continue to be a blessing to you. And then keep doing what the Lord has directed you to do. Certainly we're not always going to see the results of an Easter Sunday when Jesus came forth triumphantly out of the tomb. Certainly, we're not always going to see the baptism where a little one is brought to faith. We're not always going to celebrate an adult confirmation. But we know as the body of Christ, as fellow members of the Holy Christian Church, the Lord has called us to stand firm, to let nothing move us, always give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord. Why? Because in Christ, we know our labor is not in vain. The Lord continue to bless you to serve him each and every day. We now continue on page 269 with the prayer. Almighty God, by the death of your son, you conquered sin, and by his resurrection you restored our innocence and gave us everlasting life. Fill our hearts with steadfast faith that we may daily serve you in your kingdom and praise and thank you always through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we also continue to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and always. Amen.